Hello everyone, welcome out to Timbergold Trails. Now, it's been a little bit of time since we've been out here, but today we're going to be continuing the perfect shot challenge, and we're going to be going for the bighorn sheep. Now, the bighorn sheep are pretty smart, and it's going to be tough to get within range to make a nice heart shot on a big ram. So basically, we're going to be focusing on 140 plus rams, anything 140 plus or bigger, we're going to be going for it. So hopefully we can find some 160s. And that's the ultimate goal is maybe even get a 180 plus ram, but we'll see what happens. So we're out here at the target range right now, and we're going to get a few practice shots in before we go head out for some bighorn sheep. So right now we got a bit of wind, and we're going to be shooting for 60 right here. So we're going to see if we can't hit pretty solid. And as you can see, the wind pushed it quite a bit to the right. So we actually would have had a good hit, but... That's the problem with these bighorn sheep. It's going to be tough to get close. But let's see what it's like here for 20. See if we have any effect with the wind. Not much. And let's try 40. So we held it a bit to the left. And it looks like it worked because that's perfect. Alright, so we can shoot 40 with the wind. But I don't know about 60. Alright, so the wind let down a little bit now. Let's see if we can't try and take a 60 meter shot. And that was a perfect shot. Yep. Dead center bullseye. Alright, so as long as we don't have too much wind, we should be able to make this happen. So, let's head on over to the mountains and go try and find some bighorn sheep. Alright guys, we just found a pretty big bighorn right there. That looks like a 140s, 150s ram, which is about what we're looking for. We've been searching for quite a bit of time now, and this is the first ram that we just saw. So we're going to mark where he's at, right? He's over there. Oh, I hear him walking. Alright guys, I think he's going to be right here. We've got a good win too. So let's go prone. Let's get over to the top of this hill. And we should be able to pop up and pull up our camel pulser and take a shot. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We just about fell down this hill. He's got to be right there. Just can't quite see him. Oh, he bolted. Because we can't climb up this stupid hill. Alright guys, so we got his next track right here. He shouldn't be too far away. Don't see him yet. Oh my god, he's right there! Alright guys, we literally have him about 15 meters away from us. It's not a very good angle. At all, for a heart shot, but... And maybe we could try and get intestine and hit the heart from this angle. I don't know. We'll see. But you can see his rack right there. He's right there. I think we hit him a little bit high actually. We're trying to go down in and hit some kind of vitals. But there wasn't really much of an angle. There he goes right in there. Yeah, I think we actually hit him in the back of the neck. But at least we got him hit. So let's mark where we last saw him running over there. He was so close. We probably could have waited for a little bit better of a shot, but he was so close that we didn't really want to risk spooking him. And unfortunately we have body blood. 
but we actually saw basically where he was headed to and we marked the exact location where we last saw him so I think what we're gonna do is we'll wait here about 10 game minutes and go head over in that direction because we want to head that way anyways that way he'll be laying there for sure and we'll pick up our first kill of the hunt alright guys well it's been about 10 or 15 game minutes now actually about 12 minutes exactly and you can see our ram is down right there so pretty cool you can see we hit it a little bit high in the back we must have just missed the spine but the cool thing is we literally shot it right there and it only went probably 150 maybe 160 meters so let's go get our ram alright guys here he is down right here and you can see we hit a little bit high in the shoulder blade but like I said we couldn't really see much so I had no clue where to really aim so it wasn't that bad of a shot considering we could barely see anything below his neck so let's pick him up yeah we hit him right in the shoulder blade at 17.6 meters and he scores 144.3 so we'll take a pretty cool trophy shot of him and he's not a bad way to start off the hunt we didn't make a heart or a vital hit but we came pretty close. All we had to do was aim about two inches, three inches lower, and we possibly could have busted through and hit either lung or heart. But the problem with that is, like I said, we couldn't see anything behind the neck because it was all covered in grass. And there's a chance if you shoot through that grass, your arrow could glitch out and you won't even hit him. So, but rather to be safe than sorry, we took a shot a little bit higher than we thought, and we still made a pretty solid hit. All right, guys, we got a sheep right in front of us. I'm not sure if it's a female or a ram, but it's right here. Oh, it's a female. I can see her. A lot of times there could be a couple of them. Well, if she comes past, we're going to take a shot. No, we're not waiting any longer for a female. All right, guys, we just spotted a young ram coming this direction here. He's actually headed right towards us, so this should work out pretty good. Now, I think we have a pretty good wind. Yeah, we do. But we also have our cover spray on us, so we'll put some more of that on. And let's see if we can't get this ram to walk right past us. All right, so we have him here at... He's about 60 meters out. He's walking pretty fast. But we have a perfect wind. Not so much anymore. Alright, well we still have him out here at close to 60, about 55. The wind's pushing a bit to the right, so we'll hold left on him. Oh, he's going to start walking now. Alright, so we still have him at 57. So let's go for a heart shot. Just crushed him. But I'm not sure. Maybe we hit a little bit high. Looks like we hit far forward. So we might have been just a tad high for heart because we were holding between 50 and 60. And he was about 52. So we probably shot for about 55 meters out. And that's why we might have shot just a touch high. Still should have hit shoulder blade lung. Yep, good blood. We got lung blood here. So we definitely got hammered. Just hit him just a touch high for the heart is all. And there he is down right there. It's really hard to see over here. A lot of times they can blend right in with these rocks and you just can't see them. Just got to look for a little bit of movement is all. Alright, so let's pick up our ram. And you can see we hit just a little bit high. Would have been a perfect hard shot, but we were a little bit high. Can't complain about that. We didn't miss by much. Let's check. We got right lung at 55 meters. Yep, exactly. So we were holding for about 58 to 60 and he was exactly 55 meters and we hit right about there not bad he scores 143.5 
And we got ourselves our second ram and our second bighorn sheep. All right, guys. So we just spotted a pretty decent ram. It looks to be about a 150s, 140s, 150s probably. We actually just kicked him up here right underneath this railroad track. And we got him in a pretty good spot. The wind's pushing basically right at us. So I'm thinking we should be able to get within 60 meters of him. Maybe. Oh, there's two of them. Alright, so the one on the left is definitely bigger. I didn't know that there was actually two of them. We have scent spray on. We're going to check the wind real quick. It's pushing a bit to the left, but not much. Alright guys, so I can see one right there. And that's actually the pretty big one too. We got him at 65 meters out. Pretty broadside. We're going to go for a shot. The wind's pushing a tad bit to the left. But we got him at 65, so we'll hold a little bit right on him. And we just smoked him. 65 meters straight hard shot on that. Alright, well it looks like the other one spooked. So, let's go pick up our ram. That we just took with the camel pulser. He should be right down right here. Yep, here he is. And let's take a look at this shot. Look at that angle, first of all. He was quartering almost dead away. And at that angle, we had pretty much perfect going right towards the heart. And I'm guessing we hit at least one lung because I can see some lung blood here. But let's pick him up. Yep, we got it. 65.6 meter heart shot. We got a double lung heart shot. Awesome shot and a pretty solid ram. We got a 149.3 score. And we got our first heart shot of the hunt. So that was pretty cool. Alright, pretty cool. So look at the angle of that shot. It almost looks like it was a straight gut shot, but it was actually quartering so much that it penetrated all the way through, hit the lung, and came out right through the heart. So pretty awesome. We got ourselves our first heart shot on a nice bighorn sheep. Alright guys, we just found another pretty good ram. I didn't get the best look at him, but he looks like a 150, maybe 160s. Now, he just ran over this way, and I last saw him over here by this railroad track. I thought he was trying to climb up this mountain here, but I can't see him anymore. Alright, I can hear him. He's right up here. So he must have been right on top of that tunnel that we couldn't actually see him for quite some time. We still can't even see him. But the thing is the wind's blowing right at him. I believe it is blowing at him. And it's blowing a little bit to the right. Not much though. So basically no wind at all. So can we get to a spot where we can see him? And I think this tree might be in our favor. If we could get behind it, it might help a little bit. He had to have gone up the mountain. Oh, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Alright, well this is not a very good angle. At all. Wind's pushing a bit to the right. That's a pretty solid ram. That looks like a 150, 160s ram. We got him at 51 meters away. We got some good penetration with this. So we'll see if we can't slip one in there right behind the front. Right in front of that hind quarter. Did we just miss him? Somehow we missed him. I don't know how. Alright, I don't know what just happened. But somehow, supposedly you missed him. I'm not sure if it's because he's glitched out on this hill. But he should come out and give us a shot. 
Oh, right there. We're going to check the wind real quick. Wind's pushing a bit to the right, but not too much. How far is he at? 33 meters. We actually have a perfect angle here for the heart. Here we go. I think he just juked us again. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there he goes down there. Well, it looks like he's hit. But like, in the back leg somehow. I don't know what is going on. Somehow our arrow is completely glitching out. But at least we can see where he's at. Alright, so we got him at 151 meters out there. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could get down this way. Yeah, we got blood here. So he's definitely here. Oh, I can hear him. I see him. All right, we got him right there at about 40 meters, guys. Oh, crushed him. Hit a tad bit high, but I wasn't sure exactly how far he was. We didn't get a range on him. We probably could have made a heart shot, but at least we got him. And we put a pretty good hit on him. So let's go take a look. He looks like about a 150s ram. Left front leg at 34.6 meters. Awesome. We got 164.5 scoring bighorn sheep. I didn't realize he was this big actually. So we actually got ourselves a nice mounter bighorn sheep. And we're going to put him up in our new rustic trophy lodge. We ended up getting a 31 meter shot. I didn't realize he was that close. We got a left lung, right lung, shoulder blade at 31.2 meters. But yeah, that first shot, 34.6 meters. How did we hit so low in the left front leg and we were holding it like somewhere here? I don't, I don't know what happened. But anyways, we finally got ourselves an awesome bighorn sheep. 164 scoring and I couldn't be happier. All right, pretty sweet picture. And yeah, we're definitely going to get him mounted. He will be our biggest bow kill so far. All right, cool. So we got him mounted. I didn't realize he was that big, actually. To be honest, he, uh, well, he, we kicked him up from quite a ways away. Is that a female? Yeah, there's a female down there. So we kicked him up, and actually how we found him is by using a really good technique that I've been using for quite some time, actually ever since the bighorn came out, what you do is you either walk or you can run on the edge of the mountaintops, kind of like right here, and you look out ahead and you basically watch for, because they have a white spot on their butt, you basically watch for a white spot moving, and once you see it, make sure you have your binoculars in the tab button, so when you're running, you can just hit tab quick, pull out your binoculars, and you can actually get a good look to see. The heck was that? Are you kidding me? There was another ram right here. Didn't even see it. Now I'm not sure if it was super big or not, but we definitely got to get a look at it.
Where did he go? Right there, right there. So yeah, that's basically what you do. You run around and you watch for movement. Yeah, that's a solid bighorn sheep. It looks like a looks like a 150s. All right, guys, we just caught up to this bighorn, and he's right around this point, almost in the exact same spot that we just shot that 164 ram. So hopefully, we can get a better shot on this one. Alright guys, well somehow that ram got away and there's no point in tracking a 140s, 150s ram anymore when we already got our 164 mounter bighorn sheep. So we're going to go head over to the trophy lodge now and go take a look at our mounter ram. Alright guys, here we are back at the trophy lodge and here is our mounter ram that we just shot with the camel pulser. The first shot, I don't know what happened, but somehow it glitched out and we actually missed it. But then we ended up hitting it somehow in the back left leg at 30 meters away, which is unheard of. I don't know how that happened either. But then luckily we tracked him down and took a nice double long shot at him at 30 meters and he went right down. So here's our 164.5 mounter ram and this is the biggest ram that we have mounted that we've taken with the bow. You can see he has a ton of mass on him, really good back curl, and just an awesome ram. Alright guys, well, that was a really tough challenge actually. We ended up getting one heart shot, a couple of lung shots, and even one shoulder blade hit. But we weren't too far off from hitting the heart. But I do have to say that was probably one of the toughest challenges that I've had to do so far. But I really loved it, and I can't wait to do some more. I think that's going to be the end of this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.